Hey guys, it's me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six. I mean, I have my back because I have yours. How about that? We're going to pull from the Hidden Hearts Secrets. Um, and then we're going to pull from this card deck. I can't remember the name of it, but there you have it. Um, you guys, I can't stress enough to please like the video. Somebody is exhausted, depleted, drained, and you've been on a long journey. And basically, you need to get some rest. Um, when I feel like that, yeah, only you. You're exhausted about a situation or a relationship, devoted, attached, and crave. Something that you crave. However, it's something that's also causing you to feel exhausted. Maybe you're worrying about the things that, you know, you can't change. And when that happens, you turn around and you keep overthinking certain situations and living in the future and worried about the past. Uh, yeah, or worried about the future and living... Um, living in the past so uh these are the energies of yeah unveiling coming clean messages yin and yang feminine energy so only you type energy you're unsure about if you're the only person in a situation but there will be some type of confession uh because right now you're in this moment of silence with this person placed thing in a situation and so when this types of things happen the only thing that you can do is um relax Live in the present moment, feel the present moment, and move forward towards your greatness. It's not about things that you cannot change. Um, you know, it's like I accept the things. What is that saying? Uh, the things that I cannot change. Give me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change. The something to whatever it is. But basically, that's what you have to do. You have to have peace with the situation that you're in. And understand that when it comes to a person, place, thing, or situation, you cannot change it. But what you can change is yourself. Yeah, burnt out. Yeah, exhausted and burnt out. And then we have reconciliation. So there will be some type of communication. Will the reconciliation happen? That's totally up to you. But it says restoration of former uh, connections, apologies, uh, forgiveness, trying again in a different way, and conversations. So confessions, exhausted um yeah and in silence only you somebody is realizing that you are the only person that really matters relocation somebody's trying to relocate somebody's been manifesting things they've reached this plateau board when this is four cups energy and alien yeah yeah so they've been feeling alienated because uh they're burnt out but you have burnt out you you felt burnt out you're not nurturing this situation and you went on silent mode uh, because um, of somebody not wanting um, the same thing that you want and it caused you to be exhausted because that was at some point everything that you were worried about until you just start putting your energy into loving yourself and realizing that you have to accept the things that you cannot change and that is the best thing that you can do for yourself. Sometimes it's hard when it comes to you know something that you really really want but the moving in silence part and not really saying what it is, you know. The thing is, is like I always say that when I get silent, yeah, judgment, realization. When I get silent, that's when you should worry because at some point, my silence is a virtue and my silence can basically, yeah, um, yeah, three of wands. Yeah, knowing the direction you need to go to, overthinking the situation. My silence is because I'm trying to figure out the best way to do things. Knight of Wands energy, Drake energy, realizing that you only live once. You're nurturing situations and the confessions that happened uh, is basically causing you to overthink situations. The Three of Wands energy lets you know that, you know, you're looking ahead about the growth and expansion. And it also causes some type of worrying when you have to do that. And so when you just have exhausted your all of the other options, you know, you start to kind of overthink first. And yeah, nine of swords, uh, have anxiety, sleepless nights, page of wands, have clarity in the things that you really want to do based upon the things that no longer served you. So overthinking is one thing, but yeah, 10 of pentacles, knowing that you can have your cake and eat it too. And only thing you can do is, you know, kind of look at things from a different perspective and know that when it comes to wealth and things like that and long-term success, love 
and um, foundation, you have to be able to manifest the things on your own. Manifestation shows uh, you going after your dreams because you feel alienated in a situation that's causing you to feel exhausted. And so the only thing you can do is shine bright like a diamond, move forward, and know that sometimes it's things that you cannot change, you know. And again, God grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change or I, I don't know the exact statement, but basically you've done everything that you can in a situation. It seems like you're in separation. I'm going to pull from the breakup oracle. I don't know why this cord is right here. It just, I keep hitting my camera cord and it's driving me crazy. But yeah, you have to get into that uh, saying of those, just knowing that you've done everything and you have to live in your Drake energy. You only live speaking of drake <laughs> i've been listening to chris brown so chris brown what he just did is the equivalent to being silent what a cancer does letting things kind of you know trying to trying to keep the peace and at the same time you turn around and it's like oh you want to throw shots not literally but be in your cancer bag and just queen of, queen of swords energy and it's like you know what no um here we go. This is where I have to let you have it. You, you know, I've been trying not to play. Yeah, so silent moves. Uh, look, double life player and silent moves. So, um, you know, I, I let you play games with me, and I try to keep things cordial and not not really not really speak my piece because I'm trying to do this thing called um, look reconciliation in the reverse. I'm trying to do this thing we call, uh, yeah, this person is desperate. So they're, they, okay, so reconciliation comes out twice. This one is in the reverse. And uh, double life player, at some point they were living a double life. Uh, silent moves, I'm making moves in silence. Don't want anyone to ruin my plans. Reconciliation is in the reverse because they don't feel like you're gonna, they're going to be able to reconcile with you and have this Ten of Pentacles energy because you they made you feel burnt out and alienated like you were wrong and desperate is here it says i need answers talk to me i'm going mad trying to understand because you're silent anyway i tell you my silence is everything when i become silent that's it you know like i'm thinking about ways not to um destroy you mentally physically and spiritually not really in a bad way but exactly coming out because the first words that come out my mouth might be the way Chris Brown did when it came to him dealing with Quavo. <laughs> and that's when you dig deep and you get in your Queen of Swords bag and you just, boom, let them, let people have it because people have been playing with you um, all along. And you're just like, you know what? No, um, this is not happening anymore. So that is how I see that energy. And that is kind of where this person is afraid. They're afraid to reach out to you. Um, they're walking um, and they're scared because you're in, you know, you were in your divine feminine bag, but, and it was only that person, but now it's only about you. The realization that you had to have is that there's other things out there. There's better out there. I need to move forward because in the past, this person was living double, double lives, whether it be with, um, certain things, it was like, they weren't really speaking their truth. And now they're desperate because you are moving in silence. So, there you have it, but that is an analogy that I wanted to say because when you are quiet, you had a bad history of, you know, being angry or whatever the situation may be. You were tired of feeling like, oh, cancer, the crybaby, cancer, this, cancer is always complaining, cancer is this, but cancer has always been about one thing, and that's about love. And then all of a sudden, you know, you've been sitting back, you've been cool, you've been cordial, nobody has came at you no way. You've been trying to avoid all contact with people that will rub you the wrong way. It's been about your bag, your money, and then all of a sudden somebody says something, and especially in regards to something that you have, you want to be nice about, you turn around and just, boom, let them have it. So, huh, you won't smoke with me, you won't smoke with C, cancer, right? You won't smoke with me, and that's when we come. We turn into the garbage pail kids or the the um, sour patch kids that we we can be, and so that's kind of how I saw that. But anyway, 
I think that was a really good message. Uh, somebody needs to hear this. This person is desperate because you've been moving in silence. You cut off everything. They want to move towards you by relocation. Man, they're trying to manifest things, um, but you had to move your energy and manifest and understand that you reached the plateau because this person made you feel burnt out. And in the beginning, it was only about them and you nurturing the situation. And now this person is trying to come clean because they're desperate. Uh, desperately seeking Susan, desperately seeking cancer. So there you have it. And that is how I see the energy. Um, I'm going to pull from the karmic male, even though this might be male or female, somebody with heavy male energy uh, in their chart, or it could be female um, dealing with the male or how whatever resonates with you. But I just believe that, you know, again, your silence is everything. So sometimes these three cards try to show their face. I'll turn them over. Yeah, I'm married, financial problems, and hidden pregnancy. So it was some things that people were keeping hidden. Again, uh, double life, pregnancy, and entitled user. Yeah, exactly. So the player type energy. This is the type of energy that you were dealing with. Somebody that had financial problems, they got probably got married or in a situation ship, and this ended up happening. Remember, permanent decisions on temporary motions. And uh, because they were going through financial energies, this is why this person was okay with living a double life, being a player and moving in silence, not telling you exactly what it was. And this is why the reconciliation, they know that it's off the, um, it's off the um, table as of right now because, and they can't read you anymore before when you were really feeling them and loving them, you were sending energy towards them. And now here it is. You have to, hold on one second. You have to literally um, stop sending that energy to them. You know, always send healing energy, send strength and healing, period. I always say that, but you have to send this energy to this person. Uh, you stop kind of sending this energy and this person stop becoming the thought in your, you know, the first thought in your mind or the, um, you know, trying to figure out why and they cannot feel your energy. So entitled users, this is the energies and all of these energies that they regret now because I think regret is somewhere here, they basically are desperate about, they basically have to figure out how to get gaining your good graces. So work on you, you know, some things you just cannot change. I'm pulling from the crystal deck and I'm also pulling from the four agreements. If you want to know my perspective of the four agreements in the crystal deck, I'll put them up here. Always do your best, uh, express your own divinity, and then also Shadokite throat, heart, and third eye chakra, communication, understanding, and amplification, communication, understanding, and amplification. I trust my intuition to bring me clear and concise information. So you're no longer trying to get answers from them. You're basically moving in silence, manifesting things, and trusting in the universe and within yourself, but always do your best. Express your own divinity. It says you don't need to accept the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts you have the right to be you and you express your own divinity by being alive and loving yourself and others and that's what you're learning you cannot change anyone you cannot change a situation of a person you can't even change certain situations in your life the only thing you can do is work on them and make sure that they're better uh, or they get better by you working on yourself mental physical spiritual and um you know go from there so Let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.